Hi, I'm back again with my vintage thrift haul. Yes, I did promise you that I was going to show you everything that I got and I was going to show you it on. So there is quite a lot. So if I did that, this might be a little bit long, but we'll see how we go. But there are three, four, there are four big piles of clothes. <laughs> All got from vintage in the past two weeks, I think. Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks. But I'm delighted with almost everything. I think I had one dud, um, which I think I might have mentioned in the last video. Um, but I've just stuck that in my sewing um, basket because I think I will pass that on to my good friend Sarah, who is a whiz at making handbags. She makes the most beautiful handbags. That's for another video. Um, but the dud that I bought, it's brown velvet, it's a bit dodgy, and I think it might make a nice inner part of a handbag, so she's going to have that. But everything else I am absolutely chuffed with. I think the only thing that I'm a little bit meh <laughs> is probably one of the velvet items because I have bought quite a lot of velvet because I love velvet. And if you know me, if you watched the last, the last um, video, you know that the new word of mine that I am totally in love with because it just sums up everything about me is whimsy goth and velvet especially dark velvet, you can't get more whimsy goth than that. Can you? Do you agree? Yeah? Are you with me? Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm in one of those moods. Anyway, so the one other thing that I got that was, yeah, it's nice, but it's not very whimsy goth. It's just okay for hanging around the house. And that is this. Okay, that is this. It's basically a giant hoodie. I mean, it is literally a giant hoodie. It is massive. I mean, I like it. I do like it, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not sure what I was expecting. Um, it's a giant hoodie and it's velvet and it's a beautiful color. Um, I think maybe I was hoping for something that I would maybe wear to go out. And I, I yeah, I, I don't think I would wear this out. So it's a nice item to wear just I think for hanging about the house. It's just got that sort of feel. So I'm happy with it, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just not quite what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest, but that's the one thing. Um, so I won't bother showing you that because it's just gonna look like a, a burgundy velvet sack on me, isn't it, with a hood, basically. So that's that. The, the other thing that I love, but um, I think it's, it's made for somebody a lot shorter than me. Bearing in mind, I am already short. So it's meant for little people. Um, I consider myself already a little person and it's a little short. <laughs> but it's another velvet um, lounging suit. And um, I love it, it's got elasticated. It's like a nice dark blue velvet, but it's like literally, it's barely skimming my ankles. So it's another thing that's only gonna be worn around the house, unless, I thought I could always add like lace at the bottom, but would that be a bit, a bit funny? Maybe, perhaps. I think I'll just wear it around the house. I think that's probably the best thing, isn't it? And um, so that's the bottoms, and the top is again. The top is nice. I could wear the top out. Um, it's just a, a simple. It's got almost a bat wig, bat wig, <laughs> bat wing. And it's got like a, a neck that sort of just rolls, rolls down. I don't know what you call it, roll neck. It's not a polo neck, it's like a roll neck, I don't know. But that I love. And then obviously really going on the velvet theme, I got another one, which is another hoodie. So brown, dark brown velvet hoodie. I love this. And I think this I'll probably wear. I can wear that out. I think that'd be nice out. You can't really tell, can you, in the camera? It's just a, it's just a simple brown hoodie. So I'm really happy with that. Okay. Uh, velvet, we're still on the velvet. This is beautiful. I love this. This is very Stevie Nicks, very practical magic, real whimsy goth this is. So um, I will show you this, but it's a cardigan and it's got a lovely little sort of a, I don't know what you call it. Um, frill, it's kind of a frill at the bottom. 
I'll put it on. Let me take this shirt off. Actually, I didn't mention the shirt. This is from Vintage and I got it because I absolutely love the print. It's very witchy, very nice. I don't need to move my mic, which I don't even know if it's working because last time it didn't work. And this is the velvet cardi, which is just gorgeous. Love it, absolutely love it. In fact, I might just keep that on for now because strangely enough, this seems to be a little bit cooler than the shirt. Ooh. Right, so the other things that I bought, and I will, I am gonna try them on and I will show you. Um, I'm not getting naked yet. I'm gonna do that later off camera and then I'll show you, okay, right. So just simple things, I bought this, because I need things, I need things, I don't need at all. I wanted things that are for sort of everyday wear that I can dress up, you know, with a nice sort of Stevie Nicks long skirt um, or some vintage style trousers, because it's not just the whimsy goth look that I'm going for. It's also the vintage, um, you know, like the high-waisted trousers with a really wide leg and like a nice little brogue, um, 1940s sort of feel. I'm going for that as well. Not quite sure where this fits in, but I think it'll look nice with some wide leg trousers. It's just a simple khaki, khaki is one of my favorite colors, I love it. Um, khaki jumper, so it's got like a slight bell sleeve and then it goes in at the end. And it's got a nice sort of, I guess it's a round, sort of a deep round neck. Very simple, but I think it'll look very nice with some wide leg trousers. Oh my goodness me, my nose. Okay, so, if you think of whimsy, not necessarily whimsy goth, but whimsy, what do you think of? Yes, florals. Don't you think? Florals is totally whimsical. So I've gone floral mad, like totally floral mad. You'll see in a minute with the dresses. But I saw this and I just thought it was super pretty. I love the colors. I've always loved pink and gray. And these are like, they're like real autumnal colors. And I think autumnal colors at the moment are just mm, to die for. And I think they're very me. I'm a Capricorn, so I love sort of earthy, um, deep earthy colors, sort of deep, deep greens, deep oranges, deep reds, deep, burgundies, are they all earthy colours? I don't know. <laughs> and like deep pinks, rose pinks and things, anything that's to do with nature, which I suppose all colours are to do with nature, with exception to maybe the, the old, um, the 80s, the 80s fluorescence. I'm sure they're somewhere in nature, probably. Anyway, so I got this. This is one of those everyday things that I think will look lovely with jeans and probably look really cute with like a tall, a tall pink skirt. I got one of those. <laughs> okay. Okay. Still on the vintage on the on the vintage? On the on the subject of vintage. A striped boat neck tee. Okay, so perhaps not totally vintage, but this no, it could very well be but think Audrey Hepburn. D do I need to say any more? Probably not. Audrey Hepburn, pair of nice trousers, or wide leg, wide leg or slim, I think could look really cute. Um, it's just an everyday tee, and, and I had a really nice boat neck top when I was about 20, which I adored, and it was a, a deep blue colour, like a, a really deep midnight blue, and I loved it. And I don't know what happened to it, I just, I adored it. But, and the neckline was just like this, and it was so flattering when I was 20. <laughs> whether or not it will be, tw it'll be 20, whether or not it will be flattering now that I'm almost 49, that's another question, but I like it and I don't care whether it's flattering or not because I'm going to wear it. Just like the dungarees that I bought, which I did mention, didn't I? My very goth dungarees, which I absolutely adore. Now they're a skinny jean, they're from, where are they from, Rock, 
rebel and they've got skulls. All the people who know me, they know that I am obsessed with skulls. I just love them, always have, always will. It's the goth in me. So when I saw these, I knew I had to have them and I, I, I ordered them from Vinted, not knowing whether they would fit whether they would fit me or not. It's another one there, look. Um, but I was willing to take the risk because if they didn't fit, I would just put them straight back on Vinted and sell them. So when they arrived with the other couple of things that I got as well, I'm sure I didn't get those out. I think maybe they're in the wash. I, th I put I put everything in the wash when it arrived, obviously, because you know, unless you can really smell that it's been washed, it's best to put stuff in the wash. But I'm going to I'm going to mention something that happened with that in a minute. Bear with me. Right, the dungarees. So got them in, saw them, totally fell in love, and was just like, I have to. I have to get in them. Um, I'm wearing them whether they fit me or not. Obviously, I wouldn't wear them if they didn't fit me. But they fit me. I was so happy. Like, I was absolutely chuffed to bits. I just love them. And don't worry, I'm going to show you. But they are beautiful. So, bearing in mind that skinnies are out, apparently, do I give a. F no, I don't. I'm going to wear whatever I want to wear, whether it's in, out, whether it's last year, whether it's so 1990, I don't care, I'm wearing it. And this is one of those things that I am wearing because I absolutely love them. And I think they're going to look fab with so many different shoes. Actually, they look cute with the ones I'm wearing. Let's see if I can show you. These are not thrifted. Okay, that's, that's not a good angle, is it? <laughs> they're not thrifted, they're echoes, but they've got a point. Okay, this is not doing much for my back. <laughs> pointy, pointy leather trainers. I love them, they're gorgeous. And they will look good with this, but so will big chunky black boots. And I have some of those, but all my chunky ones are up there in the top wardrobe. I haven't got them down yet because it's still warm here. God, when are you gonna cool down, weather? So that's those. I'm making a mess here. Um, I got this little top for the summer. I thought this would be really cute. It's kind of boho chic. Very pretty. What I'm not keen on is the fact that it's got this white on the inside. It makes me think that it's probably from Shein or something like that. And there's no label. So I reckon that is probably one of those. But it's alright, you can't see it. It'll probably be one of those things that I wear around the house if it feels like that. Not that I'm a snob. I'm not a clothes snob. Honestly, I'm not. Right. Something that arrived today, and I ordered this on Vinted, and this was one of the first things I ordered, because I've been intrigued by this brand for a while. Lots of different YouTubers keep talking about it and they keep reviewing, um, reviewing it, um, and it's generally got really good... Um, feedback I suppose. So I had a look to see if there was anything on Vinted. There's quite a lot. Um, a little bit more expensive than what I'm usually prepared to pay because, you know, I'm a skin thrift. Skin thrift. That's not right. Skin thrift. That's not right. Skin, skin. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. But I am a little tight. When I'm buying stuff for myself, I generally don't want to spend too much on one item. It has been known, obviously. It has, you know, I'm married to somebody who loves to spend lots of money on one item. He's, if you know him, you know. Here's the skirt. The brand is Halara. And I have been wanting to try it ever since I first saw them online because it's meant to be like an, an active wear. It's an active wear brand, but you can wear the stuff for every day or for out and stuff. And I, one of the things I particularly loved by a lot, a lot of their um, their styles is they have this really nice thick waistband and I think that's really flattering so I spotted this one and I put it in my favourites and it was there for a while and, it was, yeah, and I was like no I'm gonna have to have it so I, I think I made a bid and she accepted and it arrived today I think it came all the way from Holland or, or Belgium or somewhere but it's brand new it's still got still got the tag on it and it feels absolutely gorgeous beautiful it's heavy 
it just feels quality and I'm absolutely delighted um, and I tried it on and it fits absolutely perfectly so one of the reasons why I wanted to wait before I bought anything else from them was because I wanted to make sure that this was the right size so it was an M I'm for reference I'm a UK 10 to 12 um, which is in Europe um, 38 to 40 um, I am five foot three and a half um, in centimeters that's probably about 163 centimeters more or less um, and my feet I'm a standard size 6 um, 39 Okay, so that's a, this is an M and it fits beautifully. It's got the shorts that m most of the Halara stuff has, for the shorts underneath with the pocket for your phone or whatnot, um, and it is it is stunning. I love it. Um, it's a little it's transparent, but because you've got the shorts, it doesn't matter. But it's so thick. I'm wondering in the winter, can I wear tights underneath the shorts and then wear it with boots? Because it's that kind of feeling. It feels heavy and and wintry, I love it. But I will try that. I will try it with the tights and I will let you know. But I think that is gonna go well with so many things. So there's the skirt. Okay, some other things that I really wanted to buy that I was short of, I did have some, but I just didn't like them. I didn't like the way they fit and stuff. So I got rid of those and I've got some new ones. So what I'm talking about is, in, the, in England, I guess we call it a sleeveless sweater or a sleeveless jumper. I think in the States you call it a vest, I think. So it's wool and it's basically a jumper with no sleeves, hence sleeveless sweater. So, and I saw this and I really liked the grey because I think the grey will look nice with so many different things. And when it arrived the other day, oh, I was so happy. It's so soft, it's beautiful, I love it. Very comfortable. Um, what's the brand? Forest, Forest, Forest Bella? Not sure. I think it came from. I'm not sure where it came from. I won't even try and remember. That one. But yeah, that's the grey one. So I'm really happy with that. I think it looked cute over dresses as well as other things. And then I got a white one as well, which I know is risky, especially me because white. I'm always dropping stuff down me. <laughs> it's just a plain sort of. I guess it's knitted cotton, thick cotton. Um, it's originally from Zara. In Zara I always get an M and it usually fits well so I've tried it and it, it, I love it. it. I just think it's it's comfortable and it looks nice um, and not, not that I care but I know this kind of thing is really fashionable at the moment but I really don't care about that. So that's the white one and then I got a really chunky one it's like a big square shape but I, I really liked the, the, the pattern of the wool and also the colour. I love the colour. I think it's just Primark and it's a small, I think if I was choosing in a shop I'd probably go for an extra small in this but it's meant to be big and baggy. Um, I like it, I'm not entirely sure I love it on me but I suppose it depends on what I wear it with but we'll see about that. Right, next I got some cardigans. So more than the, this one. So I got this beautiful purple wool cardigan. And again, it was the color. If you look at my nails, you can see that I'm a fan of purple. Um, so this, it's got a little tie, so you can tie it at the front. And I just thought it was very girly feminine and very, it's whimsy, not whimsy goth, but it's whimsy. I like whimsical, I should say, and I like that. Um, I just, I like the girliness of it, so that's, something that's going to get a lot of wear. So this is a similar colour, sort of a wine, purpley, purpley red. And this is a woolly dress with a big floppy neck and with a short sleeve. This is really cute. When I got it, I was a bit worried that it was going to be a bit small because it does look a little, a little tiny, but no, it's good. So I showed you this one in the last video, but I haven't showed it to you on. And it's just a simple, stretchy burgundy red um, dress, jumper dress, with a huge neck. Huge! <laughs> it's really going to roll down. But that's another dress. Okay, do you have any more dresses here? Yes, yeah, so this is really unusual. So this is, this is a twin set, 
but not in the sense that you would normally think of when you think of twin sets because to me a twin set is a little top with a, with a cardi. This is a shift dress but it's sort of woolly and then it comes with this cute little jumper which is a roll neck or a polo neck whatever you want to say but the jumper goes up there so it's very cute the only thing is you know at my age I do have a little bit of a belly and when with the dress and then the jumper the jumper highlights the belly but I love this the suit so much so I'm thinking maybe I should just get myself some Spanx and suck it all in when I wear it because I really like it. I think it's really quirky. Jumpers. Plain jumpers. It's the colours that appeal to me. Uh, if I wear this, I have to stay well away from the cats because they will pull the hell out of it. But the colour, just look at the colour. Isn't it gorgeous? It's, it's just beautiful. Um, I think that'll look really nice over dresses, long wide trousers, skinny trousers, jeans, um, anything. It's gonna look really nice. So that's that. Another green jumper. So I bought this one. It's just a really nice sort of fluffy green, sort of a grassy green color. I just think it's very cute. I think it'll go with lots of things. It's gonna be very warm, so I won't be wearing it that often, um, but it's lovely. So that's another one. And then this jumper, which it is, it just, it's, it screams vintage. And I just think it's beautiful. I love the sleeve. It's like a really wide sleeve. And it's sort of three quarter length, I suppose. And a deep V. So that's, that's all those things that have been folded up. Oh no, I have more. <laughs> I have I've missed a pile. So. This, obviously the colour appealed to me, you know, because even though I'm a bit of a goth, pink still is one of my colours. So this is, it's just a really simple hooded cardigan with, um, with pockets. <laughs> I like it. I think it's going to get a lot of wear. I think it'll, it'll be really nice over like a really dressy dress, just to sort of make it really casual, like with a pair of trainers or something. I think that'll be cool. I might have to just keep everything off for a second because I won't. Okay, green, obviously. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but green, ultimately green is my favorite color. Another green jumper. <laughs> this one's wool. Um, it's a little bit snug, but I think it'll be fine. Once I'm wearing it, I'll stretch it a little bit. Um, apparently it's a large. I don't know what, what, unless it's a large child's, I have no idea. So yeah, really like that one. This one, this was one of my favorites and I was so looking forward for this to come more than anything else. When it came, look at it, isn't it adorable? But when it came, I opened the parcel and oh my God, oh, mothballs. I don't think there are many smells more disgusting in life than mothballs. I mean, why? Who invented the idea of that smell for your clothes? It's revolting. Yes, it might keep the moths away. Of course it does. It keeps every damn living thing away. It's gross. Anyway, I've pretty much got rid of the smell, but it took a lot. Yeah, now I think the mothball smell is gone, but now it smells a little bit of vinegar. <laughs> so, if you have something that stinks of mothballs, what you need to do is put it in a load of water, fill it, fill it with water, and then put loads of like white vinegar, loads of it, as much as you can, and a load of um, bicarbonate of soda. And then just literally leave it. I think I left it overnight, and then I put it in the wash again, and then hung it out. When I took it out of the wash and it was still wet, the smell was still there and I was really worried that it didn't work. But I hung it on the line the whole day and when I took it in, the smell had pretty much gone. 
the only lingering slight smell, very, very, very faint, I don't think anybody else would notice, is vinegar. But I think once it's been worn and washed, it, it, that will, it will go. I mean, once you, if you put a bit of perfume on it, it's going to completely cover it up. But the mothball smell is gone, thankfully. But isn't it cute? I just, I know, I know it's not completely my colour. Luckily, it's a dark enough beige to work. There are set, there are very few colours that I can't wear. One is like a really light beige, and the other one is like a really light, like super light pinky beigey, pinky skin sort of colour. Those colours on my skin tone just horrible horrible but this it's just it's just just dark enough for it to be okay um and i actually think it's it's actually quite flattering um but i just love it and i love the little flowers and it's got a little flower on the back as well i just think it's so beautiful i think it's a zara yeah it's originally a zara top but it's i just love it it's one of my favorite things so i'm so pleased that i managed to get rid of that smell Okay, right, wardrobe. Look at this. It's kind of a silky, earthy toned dress. And it's very, to me, it's got a real sort of 40s appeal to it. And it's slightly, um, or what do you call it when it's when the material is um, it's biased cut there you go it's slightly sort of cut on the bias it's super flattering when it arrived I was a bit worried that it wouldn't fit because it does look a little tight but it fits and I love it and it's one of those high low hems as well but it's super nice I'm really happy with that this one when this came out of the package Oh, it was like the angels sang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look. Look at the fabric. Can you see the gold? It's got this lovely gold flick to it and it's beautiful. And I wore this last week um, with a little, little pink bra, which I got on Vinted. I got pink, white and a, and a beigey colour. Um, so you could just see a little bit of the of the lace there and I wore it with these so these are Pumas and again oops <laughs> they came from Vinted so really pretty and together they just looked so cute and I took a denim jacket with me because I thought that would be nice but it, it just it was too hot to look for that um side note if you are looking to buy a pair of these pumas on vintage be wary about the size because I am a standard UK 6 US 8 European 39 to me that's what the normal standard sizes are and that's how they should be so I got these thinking you know okay it's a Europe 39 UK 6 pretty good no problem but then it says US eight and a half really so they are half a size too big so now I know and I also in the same week I bought another pair of Pumas from Vinted floral one on the cute florals I got them the same size as these so again half a size too big but I make I'm making it work because I love them both but I'm currently um, trying to buy um, another pair of Pumas that I've seen which are the Fenty they're Puma Fenty and they're all sort of um, like a satin and it's got like a big bow across the front I'm trying to buy some of those at the moment but the people selling they don't seem to want to respond I don't know why so that's those. Okay, right, next dress. Look at this. Oh my god. Is that not beautiful? Look at the print. Look at the colours. The colours. It just hangs sort of straight down, but there is an attached belt, so just cinch in the waist. But I just the these colours 
I think they're just me colours. They're just, oh, just, just beautiful. Can't wait to wear it. Okay. Okay. I guess this would come more under the vintage style. Um, but look, it's a wool dress. I think it's Massimo, no, it's Court Biel. So it's a wool dress and it's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got like beautiful golden threads throughout. And it's just a simple shift dress. And I do, I suit a nice shift dress. Um, lovely length. And I think this will look lovely with just a simple, like a simple court heel or a nice pair of boots. Um, probably wouldn't dress it down with trainers or anything. I think it's too dressy for that. But yeah, I suppose you could. I mean, why not? We'll see, we'll see. But I really like that and it's beautiful quality and it's very heavy and it's just, it's just lovely. Okay, so the one there is one other thing that I bought. It's a little bit. Mm. So when you see it like that, you think, "Wow, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at floaty, beautiful." But then you kind of get up close, and then you can see. I mean, it's the deep. It's a lovely sleeve. It's a lovely dress. It's the fabric. The fabric. The fabric. <laughs> I think this is probably from, yeah, well it's 100% polyester, I didn't even need to look at the label, I knew that, but it just, it's just, oh, no, no. Yeah. it's a shame because the actual dress is really pretty, the print is cute, no, no. okay, what else? I've just had a realisation. Last week I bought a pink tulle skirt, this one, and I think I've just ordered another one. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, that, I think maybe that's one with the... I don't know what it's called, but... Yeah, so pink tulle skirts, that's going to go with loads of those things that I showed you. This jumper and that cute cute but green tool skirt oh, yeah green tool skirt oh, yes baby I can't wait I just I, yeah I just love them I've always wanted to get some tool skirts they are really whimsical I think and they look great with boots chunky boots or trainers I mean, you could do the girly thing if you want, you know, like a little pair of heels or something like that. But I'm, I want the chunky boots and the chunky trainers and stuff because I think that looks really cool together. Or the whole vintage boots, possibly. But it's just gonna, they're just gonna look fab with so many different things. This, to me, this is really vintage. Um, I, I wasn't over keen when it arrived. I was like, yeah, it's quite nice. But I put it on the other day. And I wore it with a pair of trainers. I wore it with my sketches. These aren't, vintage. they're not vinted. I, I've had these for a while. But I wore those and I really liked it. It was, like, it was so comfy and I felt super girly in it. Um, I was really chuffed with it. And it's so comfortable and soft. And I literally wore it the whole day, which is nice because I often, well, if I go somewhere, I often come home and then put on like my comfy clothes. But this, I, I felt, was already my comfy clothes, so I was really happy with that. Okay. I bought this because I think this is really whimsical. It's not whimsy goth, but it's whimsy fairy cottage core sort of thing. It's quite wide, but I think that's actually quite nice. And if I do fancy wearing sort of a pair of skinny jeans, which, again, I will if I want to, yeah, it's me. That I'm talking about, not you. So if you don't like skinny jeans, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> but I think that will look really cute with that. But it will also probably look cute with a long, long sort of Stevie Nicks type skirt or a dress underneath it, maybe. But it's just lovely. 
again, it's it's more cream than beige, so I think I can get away with the colour. I hope so, anyway. Okay. This one we talked about the other day, and I actually did wear that for a, a little photo shoot for my blog, where I did like a real 80s inspired look. Um, I'll put a picture up so you can see. But I just love it. My husband, I put it on and my husband said, right, are you giving real adamant vibes? Um, you'll know who that is if you're my age. <laughs> really happy with that. I think that's going to get a lot of wear. Real vintage, vintage at its best. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. I think it looks so cute with get a lot of these things together. So I bought this from Vintage This Skirt and I think that with that it's going to look really nice. The little blouse underneath. Lovely very pleased with this skirt. I wish it was wool, I think it's probably polyester, it's originally from Zara, um, but it looks, it's got a real 70s vibe and I think also that will look really cute with like a 70s style boot. This is another one of those things that the angels saying. I won't do it again, I promise, I'm sorry. This is beautiful, just look at that, look at that ombre effect. Is that not just to die for? Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little long, so it, when I wear it, I'll probably have to wear some like some like platform espadrilles or something. It's got like a gold thread throughout, so it's just stunning. I love it. And I, I had this in my favourites for a while. Um, that's what I do. I favour all the things that I think I might be interested in buying. And then I leave it maybe a day or two and I go back. And I decide sometimes the sellers they, they can see that you favorited something and they will make you an offer which is really nice I, I appreciate it when people do that so I've started doing the same thing um, I'm not sure if she did that to me or not but whatever I do I, I, I always offer um, I rarely pay the full price that the seller is asking unless it's something that I truly think is already an absolute bargain and you know I wouldn't want to insult them other times I'm quite happy to insult <laughs> But anyway, this is probably a little bit more than what I've spent on some of the other things, but I love it. And when it arrived and I felt the weight of it, I was just absolutely delighted because it's beautiful. I love it and I'm going to keep it forever. <laughs> okay, lastly, let's just show you the shoes that I've got. So I've showed you those trainers already. Now, if you watched the video the other day, you will have seen these fabulous boots from Timberland. And they've got a real sort of vintage feel to them, which I adore. And these are a 39 and they fit really nicely. Yeah, I just love them. I'm a big fan of Timberland's already. Um, I've got several pairs and they always fit really well. So I knew if I got 39s on vintage, I'd be fine. So I've actually bought several pairs of Timberland's. <laughs> So that was the first pair. This was the second. These ones I'm so in love with. Look at those. It's like a real vintage, like a, is it a bro? I'm not sure if it's a bro, but with a heel. They're just stunning. And again, they're Timberlands. And again, size 39 and they just fit so nicely, but they've hardly been worn, but they just look so vintage with this wooden sole, wooden sole, wooden heel. Oh, I just, I just, I can't wait to wear all this stuff. Okay, and then I got another pair <laughs> of Timberlands, which I thought these are so cute. I mean, look at this effect. Is that, it's almost sort of Victorian style. And again, they fit beautifully. They've hardly been worn. The only thing that's a little bit off-putting, so you do this, this up, around the calf and then you've got this funny wide bit and it just it kind of sticks out a bit a bit like that but from there down it's beautiful so I'm a little bit unsure about that or how I'm gonna style that but I still love them because they're just so different and that's that's one of the things that I love about it is how different they are I'm not done I'm not done where are my other ones and then I got a 
felt like I needed a pair of black boots that were a little bit more classic. So these will look nice with that woolen um, shift dress. So it's just a really plain and simple black knee-high boot. Just, just simple, lovely. And again, you know, I, I paid so little for them. They've hardly been worn. Very, they're leather, I think. And very comfortable. Okay, next, just go over to the other wardrobe. Move you out of the way. Okay, so. Florals. I've just gone floral mad. But aren't they cute? I just thought they were really some really classic. Um, they are a little bit old lady-ish, granted. But with the right outfit, I think they'll look cute. I think they'll look cute actually with some long wide leg trousers and a nice blouse. So I could make sort of like a vintage look. I think they would look nice because they're classic. The only thing, it's a Portuguese brand. I can't remember what it's called. MLV. But I looked on the on the site and that one of the things that they said was that comfort was key. So I thought, okay, great. If they say that, then I'm gonna get a really comfortable pair of shoes. They're a bit hard. But I think maybe I've been spoiled with like the Timberlands and the sketches and the Pumas that are really soft and these are just a bit hard. So if you are buying these MLV shoes, just be wary of that. But probably wouldn't wouldn't wear them if I was gonna have to wear them the entire day, but for like couple of hours or something because they are cute. Do you like those? These beauties arrived today. Look at that. Would you believe they are Timberlands? Aren't they gorgeous? I'm absolutely delighted. They're very comfortable. They've hardly been worn. I think I paid 16 euros for a pair of Timberlands and that it's like a really classic style but it's got this lovely grippy sole and it's classy that's gonna look lovely with dresses with trousers with so many things I'm just chuffed to bits with them and I can't wait to wear them I think they're stunning so that's those okay and I think lastly I got a pair of Ugg boots. So I already have a pair of Ugg boots, but I've got black ones, knee-high ones, and I got them in 2008 in Las Vegas. They were a birthday present for me from my husband. Um, and I've worn them a lot, um, but I've always wanted a pair of the shorty ones in the, the camel beigey color. The only thing wrong, and she put this in her listing, was that she's, she's worn them, I think, once or twice, and the second time that she went out, it rained, so they got a bit wet. She said there are stains on them. So I looked at the pictures and I was like, oh, maybe I could try and get the stains out. So I Googled how to do it. So I was like, okay, I'm confident. If I can get these cheap enough, I'm confident that I can try and get the stains out. If I can't get the stains out, then maybe I'll just soak them all and then <laughs> they'll all be the same color. But when they arrived, look, the stains are, they're not that bad. Yeah, there's a bit around here. And there's a little bit here, but not, not, they're not bad enough to, to really mess about with. So, I was like, why would I even bother? So, a pair of these new can be anything from like 150 to like 220. I got these, I think for 15. 15. Yeah. I bought... Some sellers, they have this, this deal on that if you buy a certain number of items, you can have, you'll have a, a discount. And she had one of those. If you buy five items, you get 50% off. So I went through all of her stuff and I, and I was desperately trying to find four, four other items that I really liked. And there wasn't really that much that I really liked apart from some cheap earrings. So I felt a bit guilty, you know, buying these and some cheap earrings, but I didn't see anything else that I really liked. So. I basically got 50% off because I got four pairs of earrings. But you know, she, she when when I paid, she was like really sweet and 
thanking me and everything so I was like well she obviously just wanted to get rid of them so I'm absolutely delighted with them so oh there's one last thing that I forgot to show you it's a jacket it's a cape look at this this looks like so absolutely thrilled to bits with that hands tooth print lovely weight to it again this is from Court Viel which is the same brand as the shift dress um, this would look nice with the shift dress actually maybe but yeah I just I want the weather to get cold enough so I can wear all this stuff right and that's pretty much everything that I've got from Vintage over the past two weeks two to three weeks I've got a couple of other things that weren't um, clothes like I got a the vintage clock for my office and a little um, a little jewellery box which is sort of really Victorian but I'll show you the, all that stuff when I eventually do the office when we move into the house but it's nowhere near yet we're still waiting we're having a few issues but no, I'm, no nothing to worry about um, so I did say to you that I would show you all these items at the end but you probably noticed I've not been doing that I've been showing it as I've been talking so I hope you've enjoyed this vintage haul. Um, I've, st I've got loads more coming because I'm still selling. Um, I've got loads of clothes on. If you are in Europe and you want to buy some of my stuff, you can find me on Vintage and I go under the name Grey Brunette. Not the Grey Brunette, just Grey Brunette. Um, and there's loads of stuff on there. There's some beautiful jewellery. I've still got plenty more jewellery. I've actually got some more jewellery that I am going to be listing in the next couple of weeks because I've realised I was keeping a lot of stuff for sentimental reasons because the jewellery belonged to my late mother-in-law um, but I've tried wearing a lot of it and I'm just it's just not me so I would rather and my husband agrees I would rather that we sold it and I got stuff that I can wear that is me that is that whimsy goth fairy core vampire queen <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, so that's that's the plan anyway. So I will be back again with more videos and more hauls and more supernatural stuff because if you're like me, you love all that spooky stuff. Um, especially at the moment with Halloween around the corner. Um, anyway, I, I'm babbling now. So thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give the, the video a, a thumbs up so that other people who are in our tribe can find it and we can all hang out and get spooky together. So thanks again, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.